say hello. Hi everyone. Alright guys, we are here at Mondado Taco Shop. I'm here with all my friends. We've got lots to dig into. I walked up to a table full of food, so I'm gonna look at the menu here. They've got pre-made tank tacos. to Condado's for their VIP night and it was a complete disaster. I got there around 5.30 and it was really confusing as to where you go, if you need to have a table, they didn't have a list to check anyone in and typically when you go to these VIP like soft openings, number one, it's not 150 people, and number two, they're usually like pretty small, pretty like well-oiled, you know, everything flows really well. This was not the case. So I got in and kind of moseyed around a little bit. Um, for those of you who know the space, it's absolutely huge. So props to them for taking it over. I do think this restaurant will do really well in the space. Unfortunately, I just don't know that I would go back. So I found some friends, I sat down. Um, they were really, 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 really busy. I, I don't know why you would invite as many people as they did for their VIP night. There's a difference between a soft opening and kill the kitchen night. And typically when you go to a restaurant and they tell you like, hey, we're, we're literally trying to kill the kitchen, there's at least some more like a better understanding of how to handle the situation to be a little bit more patient. I sat down and I mean, I had to bust my own table because it was just completely covered in food. So moved the food over, no big deal. Sorting in a grouchy mood because my phone wasn't working because AT&T had some outage today and when your phone doesn't work, the whole world, it's crumbling. It's over, it's over, Armageddon. So anyway, I sit down and um, they have little scantron sheets that you get to pick your taco. They have tacos that are already made and then there are ones that you can like pick your shell, pick your protein, pick your toppings, etc. cetera. Um, I did really like those. However, I would love to see them use something more eco-friendly, maybe like a laminated sheet where you can bubble everything in. Um, just hate all that waste of all the paper and ah, but whatever. So ordered my tacos, um, was sitting there, went up to the bar to get a water because it was, I mean, there's no way the service could handle that amount of people. So got my water, came back down. Um, I ordered tacos the same exact time as my friend sitting next to me did. And hers came out within 10, 15 minutes, not bad. And still missing my tacos. 15 minutes later, still missing my tacos. 30 minutes later, still missing my tacos. So at this point, my other friends came, I joined their table, I ordered a margarita. Margarita came out just fine, so props to the bar. So as I'm waiting, I'm like, well, I guess they lost my taco, so I'll just order more. So after I put my order in for the second order of tacos, mine came out in like five minutes. So it took about a total of 45 minutes for these tacos to come, which it just kind of seemed like hit or miss. People seemed like some people got their tacos really quickly, and like my friend did, and other people had to wait 40 minutes. That happened 
the second time at the table that I switched to with my other friends and same exact thing. Half the table ordered and got food really quickly and then we had my friend Brittany and her husband were sitting there like, where are my tacos? Um, I'm sure emotions were running really high. What I didn't appreciate was one of their servers walking around and I get it like, you know, it's, it'll be totally different when it's less hectic, but if you're a server, you have to keep your cool at all times. So she's walking around saying, who has this taco? Who has this taco? Who has this taco? And we're like, what is it? And she was like, are you waiting on two tacos or not? Nope. Like you, you gotta, you gotta calm down. Like that's not okay. And if you're going to lose your cool like that on customers, like you're just, I mean, mo we've all worked in the service industry. Like we get it, but like, don't just chill. Just take a deep breath. Is this your taco? It's not. Okay. Let me go find out who it is done. So overall the food was okay. Um, I love that they have, they have two little homages to uh, Indiana. Let me get my phone out here. They have the broad reefer tacos, with, which have, it says two tacos, both firecracker shells, roasted pollo, lettuce, tomato, onion, cheddar, dirty sauce, and sour cream. And the lechos, which uh, with David Peppermint, which are the, it's basically nachos, chips, roasted pollo, Rice, beans, queso, lettuce, onion, corn salsa, salsa roja, and jalapenos. This is a reference to the fact that David Letterman was born in Indianapolis. So yeah, I mean, I get that Condado is really big in, let's see, where they start? Columbus? Let me find it. Yes, they opened their first restaurant in Columbus in 2014. I think it's great for the spot. I think that they will do really well. Um, it's perfect for like that college broader pool atmosphere. Um, I liked their banana margarita. That was yummy, but man, I just did not have a killer experience. So maybe I'll give it a shot in a couple of months. Oh, I don't know. The food, the food was okay. It was all right. It's not, you know, I felt like it wasn't life changing. So we'll see if you like nachos and tacos and all that goodness, I would go check them out. Good margaritas, get the banana margarita. That was a great recommendation from my friend Claire. So, oh, and our server, I will say, our server Whitney killed it. You know, we had people say, hey, can we add this? Can we add that? Can we add this? And she, she did a great job. She, she nailed it. There was just a couple of others who just kind of seemed like, you know, totally overwhelmed, which hopefully this will be the last night of that. But other than that, it was, I mean, you saw from my two shrimp taco, you know, you saw, I mean, I had friends who just got the wrong taco several times. So fingers crossed that you guys will get all of your kinks worked out. Um, wish you nothing but the best. Welcome to Indy. And um, yeah, that's all I have for Condado. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Bye.